This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stoenberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a charging session on the BYD Han. It has BYD blade battery. Ooh, LFP power. Gonna compare that to a Model 3 and an Aero 6. Why not? All right, so you see right off the line now, the Han takes 120 plus kilowatt. I was like, hey, what the heck? If you guys follow me on the live stream on the 1000 kilometer challenge, you will see that we were riding roughly on 110, 115 kilowatt only, not 124. What the heck is going on here? On the Model 3, peaked 100, uh, 250 kilowatt initially. Now it starts slowing down a little bit. Ionic 6 uh, was uh, taking uh, 225 kilowatts. So nice and flat charging curve on Ionic 6, like a boss. And then back to Han, okay, it's still going at 125. It's wonderful, man. I have no idea why I didn't get this during 1000 kilometer challenge. Maybe because the battery was too hot or something. I'm not sure because uh, the Han actually replicating during the uh, 1000 kilometer challenge is crazy. You will see eventually that it will replicate during this sound session. Model 3 starts going a little bit slower now, uh, but still uh, way faster than Han, okay? Uh, but uh, yeah, Model 3 and Ionic, uh, they don't have uh, the LFP battery, so yeah, you can say it's a little bit unfair to compare these ones. Okay, I'm not sure. I, I didn't know which car to compare against anyway. But uh, yes, um, uh, what else is to see now? Okay, Ionic 6 is charging like a boss, almost hit 60%. I mean, why do you even have this car in the comparison? Well, we just want to show how awesome Ionic 6 is. It's the 800 volt high power power yeah and then okay ionic 6 starts going a little bit slower model 3 not too much there to say there we'll, we'll focus mostly on han see how it goes you see very nice and flat charging curve 125 kilowatt flat until 42 percent huh even the model 3 had to lower the speed eventually but lfp man uh, byd power blade battery okay now oh, wait, wait, now now i think it's supposed to yeah now now it throttles but why did it throttle there because i've gotten a nice and flat speed uh, earlier but it throttled because the temperature reached 46 degrees and here again we have uh, the name of the high delta uh, the question is uh, yeah too, too bad i didn't uh, show you guys the delta in the model 3 but it's quite low i've seen as high as three de de uh, three degrees celsius delta but just look at the, the two other cars to the left and the right of the tesla ionic has freaking 16 degrees celsius delta yeah why not and then han has uh, 8 degrees Celsius Delta, it's roughly there. <laughs> Freaking high, man. It's not good to have that high Delta because uh, you eventually need to, yeah, the Ionic has now the, the it was in the in the Korean siesta. Now it, it started recovering. The temperature was simply too high on Ionic 6 and that's why it tr throttled. But now it takes a nice comeback. Uh, same with Han. And we'll see some weird behavior with Han is that it throttles back to 70. It just has this step, step just like Ionic, you know. It steps down and then it goes only at 70 kilowatt for a while, but the cooling stays the same. And then eventually, boom, 124 kilowatt again on Han because the temperature dropped enough for it to, yeah. But then it was like, oh no, and then we're charging too fast and then the rapid gets again. So it's actually, Han is actually pulling five kilowatt from the charger for cooling. You, I will see that. Uh, you can compare the kilowatt into the battery here in car scanner versus the kilowatt that it pulls from the Ionde charger. So at five kilowatt cooling power, you should be able to get decent cooling, but no, 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 the Han rapid gate, so that's quite uh, a big disappointment. Uh, by appointment, uh, and it was roughly only around 10, no, no, it wasn't even 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. So it wasn't that soaking hot, really. Maybe we have to drive it when it's cold, five degrees, 10 degrees, then it shouldn't rapid gate. Look at Ionic, Ionic hit 90% a long time ago. It's about to hit 100%, yeah, why not? Uh, Ionic is cheating, it's 800 volt, it's in a different, uh, league, we, it's it disqualified. <laughs> yeah, okay, back to Han. Now. Han starts. Well, actually, you see here, this is very impressive because eventually it we hit this equilibrium where uh, the Han, the state of charge on the Han is so high that it doesn't hit to uh, 120 kilowatt and again. But then it hovers at 100, uh, sorry, at 82 kilowatt for actually quite a long time, and then it stays there because at that power it doesn't overheat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, all right, it's good. So you see now the temperature stays at. 44, the magic number is 46. I've seen this over and over again during 1000 kilometer challenge. Once it hits 46 degrees Celsius, it goes slower. Yeah, so I'm not sure what else we can do. Yeah, Ionic is about to hit uh, 100% uh, even before Model 3 hits 90%. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Okay, what's going on with Han? But uh, I have to say, man, Han has okay charging speed. Even past 85%, it can still take good speed. Look at Model 3 in comparison, huh? Yeah. But uh, one other thing to uh, point out is that uh, the state of charge scale is not linear on Han. Uh, Tesla has dead linear state of charge scale. Ionic, also, Ionic 6 also non-linear state of charge scale. So it becomes a little bit confusing because you can't actually compare percent uh, per, per percent here. And the lower they are, then they, they are like uh, less uh, energy dense yeah i stopped at 90 percent actually Han, i went past the 90 percent so in the video i didn't bother showing you guys this but uh, i did actually test past 90 percent how you can see the the comparison so model 3 has uh, had the highest peak power but uh what is the point of peak power if you can't sustain it too long right here seems to even be a thermal throttling on the model 3 but then uh, ionic 6 is like this bam but okay you guys don't want to see that you want to see this one okay so the han for some reason charged faster than tang i'm not sure why but look here so han has this nice okay 125 plus or 120 i'm sorry 120 125 kilowatt but then here boom it replicated and then you see these weird spikes here where the temperature dropped i mean it went from 46 to 44 degrees and it was like oh yes yes and oh it's too hot again and oh yes oh yeah oh it's too hot again <laughs> but then maybe tang was tested when it was colder yeah i believe so maybe that's why it had a flatter curve but very impressive that tang at least can go to uh, it can have that flat charting curve to around almost 60 percent so i believe that han if you will charge it in colder places it will probably also have very similar because if you look here the charging curve is almost identical and also past past 90 percent it goes pretty quick at least until around 98 percent then it goes a little bit slow so it still has okay charging curve so yeah now you guys have seen it huh what do you think blade battery hmm uh, i feel like um the chinese car i mean sorry the, the chinese people they might be able to make some cool batteries like the blade battery I mean, think about this you, you don't you cut out the modules and you only have uh cell to pack and you save uh save space save cost right the blade battery um but then it seems like the chinese car manufacturers they poorly implement this with poor cooling and you see the result here is that it replicates and you have bad delta or i mean high delta between min and max time so either you cold gate or you rapid gate or like in the korean like in ionic and ev6 you you cold gate and rapid gate during the same charging session <laughs> but we're gonna see eventually with Tesla once I get my hands on um, uh, the Model Y Raven Drive from Giga Berlin. I actually been in contact with Tesla and they say that they have one incoming so I can borrow it soon. So I was like, oh yeah, alles gut, yeah. So then we're gonna test. But I, my impression is that Tesla, they know how to build good electric cars and good cooling and good design so that you have low delta. And that's probably why Tesla, th that small battery, you know, uh, can maintain 170 kilowatt flat until 40 50 percent because good cooling and low delta yeah that's my claim we're gonna see what eventually look in uh, uh, car sky in sky my tesla once i'll be able to test it and then can't wait to see man how it is okay but anyway uh this video was about the byd but uh, i think also you guys are interested in uh, byd since they have the blade battery and now you see how it performs in the tang and also in han so that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later